huge announcement that you made today and I do want to focus in on that because I think it's incredibly important and it, it hones in on what you call, and I think it's a great way to put it, a huge untapped talent pool in the world. And it's those that are in some way disabled and you're making huge steps, particularly over the next five years, to try and narrow what you call the disability divide. Talk me through the announcement today. Sure, it really is important, and I think it's an opportunity for all of us to just reflect a little bit more on the fact that more than a billion people around the world, uh, at some point in their life, either temporarily or permanently, will have some kind of disability. It, 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 it might be relating to hearing or sight or other things. And when we look at the world today, um, you know, there's such enormous talent in this community, but only 33% of people with disabilities are currently employed. That compares with 76% of their peers. So that is really an enormous divide. And our view is that digital technology can help close this gap. Uh, it can empower people with disabilities to be more productive. And especially if we can build on that to really help bring people into the workforce, to give them the digital skills that will help them get a job, that will help employers better identify this talent and then make the workplace itself more inclusive of people with disabilities um, at a time when in some countries we're looking at a prospective labor shortage. This is great talent that can help the economy continue to move forward. I was looking at some of these statistics on this as well. I mean, even just in the United States alone, one in four people with some form of disability live in poverty. It's worse if you're a minority. So there's many aspects to this that you're tackling. If you if you just try and tackle one, make it actionable, Brad, for us. Just be specific about what you're doing here, because some of it's about providing care workers with digital skills so that they can support those that they're um, supporting and helping your partnering with universities as well, because it's it's not just about the workplace, it's about the education before you even get there. And even with a college degree, you're still less likely to be hired. So there's so many aspects here that you are tackling in, in trying to, to help with this. Well, I think you said it very well. And in some ways, to bring people into the workforce, it does start uh, with the education system. That's why we're working with more universities uh, to really make classrooms starting in K-12 and into higher education more accessible, to, easier for people with disabilities to navigate. Um, but then a lot of it does also depend on digital tools. Uh, imagine trying to do our jobs today without the ability to you know, use a computer effectively for all of the things on which we rely. Um, we are building more and more technology into our devices and our services to do that. Uh, things that will make it you know, easier for the blind community or the vision impaired community generally to, to take advantage of, of technology, immersive uh, screen readers and the like, captioning for the deaf community. Um, but when you look at something like the, the home care givers, we want to train them so that when they're in homes with people with disabilities, they're in a position to help this community learn how to use these tools. And we want to provide more tools for software developers so when they're creating their software, they're really doing it with this uh, philosophy of accessibility by design at the very start. So we're focused in, as we always do, by starting with our own products, but this is a movement. It's a movement that has been gaining traction, but it's a movement that can spread much more rapidly over the next five years. And, and I think in doing so, you know, just really change, transform, if you will, uh, the kinds of opportunities for people with disabilities.